Welcome back to Movie Shortens. Today we are going to explain a 2019 survival horror film called 47 Meters Down, Uncaged, which is also a standalone sequel to the 47 Meters Down, 2017. Be aware, there are spoilers. The movie begins with a scene of a high school in Mexico, where a group of famous girls make fun of an outcast student named Mia. The mean girl Catherine pushes Mia towards the pool, saying it was an accident. As Catherine confronts the other three friends, including Mia's stepsister Sasha, Alexa, and Nicole, Sasha says Mia isn't her sister, and they quickly leave the pool. The two then are picked up by Sasha's mother, Jennifer. However, Sasha and Mia both do not want to tell their mother what happened. At home, Mia's father, Grant, questions Sasha about Mia, but the girl tells him it's not her fault when nobody likes Mia at school. Grant appears to be disappointed as Sasha, telling her to try to look out for each other. Sasha reluctantly agrees and leaves. As they talk, it reveals that the family has moved to Mexico following Grant's job as an explorer of underwater cave systems. At dinner, Grant, who wants to break the tense atmosphere of the sisters, shows a white shark tooth. It was found during a cave diving expedition. Grant then introduces some of the photos he took in an uncovered passageway. Mia also shares the same interest as her father, asking why sharks are found there. Grant has no idea, but he guesses they might go after seals and get lost in the tunnels hundreds of years ago. To get the two girls to spend some quality time together, Grant and Jennifer offer them a trip to see great white sharks in their natural habitats tomorrow. The shark tooth was meant to be a clue, according to Jennifer. However, Sasha becomes pissed off as she already planned to hang out with her friends. She then leaves the table. The following morning, Grant and his two assistants, Ben and Carl, drop the two girls at the rendezvous for the trip. However, Alexa and Nicole decide to kidnap Sasha from the dock for their planned trip. Alexa tells Sasha that this is a secret place that no tourist would ever find in a million years. She also emphasizes that this is a chance of a lifetime. Sasha gets so excited with the idea, but just as she is about to leave, she goes to Mia first. Sasha asks if Mia wants to get out of the stupid trip and come along with her friends. Mia reluctantly follows the girls, knowing that the presence of Catherine would ruin this trip anyway. The four girls then make fun of Catherine, showing their fingers, and drive off. Alexa then drives the friends along the coastal road, giving them the most enjoyable moments in this beautiful country. According to Ben, who is Alexa's boyfriend, there is a secret lagoon, and he has prepared a party for the girls there. Upon arriving at a cliffside, the four are stunned by the amazing view. They jump straight into the water instead of taking the path. Mia is scared of jumping, so Sasha takes her hand, and the two make it together. Mia appears to have a really good time with Sasha's friends. The foursome enjoys so much fun together, saying this is so much better than the ridiculous white shark trip. While relaxing, Nicole finds some masks and diving equipment. Alexa discloses that the lagoon actually leads to a submerged Mayan city, where Sasha's stepdad Grant, Ben, and others are preparing for a team of archaeologists to arrive the following week. These gears belong to them. Mia becomes more curious about the given information. Alexa even reveals that Ben took her there once last week, and it was super cool. It looks like a burial underground cave with old statues, altars, and other insane stuff, according to Alexa. Getting amazed by what Alexa experienced, Nicole and Sasha suggest sneaking off to dive through the city using the available equipment. Mia argues cave diving is dangerous, and for that, they shouldn't take any risks. However, the three girls convince Mia that it would be as easy as riding a bike. The four then grab the gears and get ready to dive in. As the four jump in the water, Alexa reminds them to check their air gauges for the last time, making sure their tanks are full. The devices show all 100% full of oxygen, reassuring the group. All set, they head to the entrance, which is at the bottom of the steps. The group enters a narrow tunnel, which eventually leads to an ancient sacrificial chamber. Alexa turns on the light, which was built by Ben's team, and the whole ruins of an ancient Mayan temple, wow the girls. As Nicole is about to take the lead, Alexa stops her, telling her to step back and always keep behind her. Alexa knows the areas quite well, and she tells the friends to take one last lap around the altar before heading back. They all agree. While admiring the old carvings, Nicole spots something moving. Alexa tells her there is nothing alive down here, and that she shouldn't mess up with the deal earlier. Yet, Nicole ignores the warnings and heads to the nearby moving creature. Helpless, Alexa and the sisters have to follow Nicole. They then see a very big Mexican tetra swimming down in this temple. They learn that it's evolved blind as there is no light here. They can move around thanks to heightened senses. 
Nicole assumes this kind of fish may never know humans, so the fish is hiding from us. Suddenly, the tetra swims towards the group and scares Nicole with its high-pitched sound. Frightened, Nicole drops backwards and collapses to the stone columns. This causes a commotion, separating the girls. In a chaos, Mia and Alexa can see each other, swimming around to look for the other two. They bump into Ben, who is working in the same area. Mia tries to make an excuse for the mess they have made, but Ben tells the hysterical Mia to calm down. Ben promises to get the girls out of this temple before Grant finds out. Suddenly, a huge shadowy creature appears out of nowhere and attacks Ben. He is killed tragically, dropping the guideline and dyeing the surroundings red. The two girls quickly learn it is a giant white shark, so they flee right away. They rejoin Nicole and Sasha again on the way out. As Alexa talks about what happened to Ben, Nicole disbelieves and tells him it's time to head back. When they swim near the tunnel, a shark emerges and attacks the four. Due to the small entrance, the shark can't make it inside. However, the tunnel is starting to collapse due to the crashing from the giant beast. The girls end up being trapped inside for the moment. Mia suggests going back to look for Ben's guideline, which eventually leads them to where Grant and Carl are working. They check for the air, which has run down to approximately 40%. Alexa is worried about the shark, but Sasha reminds the girls that it is blind. They need to stay close to get over this before the air runs low. Finally, the girls can find the line lying down on the sea floor. They rush to follow the line, hoping to reach Grant and Carl soon. As they swim through the catacombs, there are a lot of human skeletons. The group then sees that the line ends there. Alexa becomes panicked, warning the city is a maze. Their tanks are running low, so they can't risk going any further. Sasha disputes they can't go back either. Being left with no choice, the girls keep moving forward. All of a sudden, a shark pops out again, forcing the girls to get deeper into the city. They hold hands tight and stay still to avoid the shark. They temporarily send the shark away. Unfortunately, as one of the tanks runs low, it goes off, drawing the shark to come back. The group then retreats in a cave nearby. We don't know who left the grate there, but it saves their lives, and that's what matters. The four are able to get some air in a narrow air pocket, buying them some time before their next move. They all only have 20% air left. They hear some music in the water. Mia thinks it must be her dad, as she has a habit of listening to music while working. Mia then leaves the girls behind in an attempt to get help by a gap at the end of the air pocket. Meanwhile, Carl is working with very loud music somewhere in the city. Unfortunately, he doesn't know the shark approaching him from behind. Carl becomes the next flesh party of the beast in a second. The emergency alarm rings off as he is torn apart. Back to Mia, she can hear the alarm in a close distance. She heads towards the sounds and gets frightened when she comes across Carl's remaining body. She eventually meets Grant, and the two set out to find the other girls together. As the two of them meet up with the girls again, Mia is saved from being attacked thanks to Alexa, who distracts the shark by hitting the torch to the column. The group makes their escape in the nick of time by creating some noises around the shark, getting it lost. And the five did it to reach the surface in the cave. Grant then tells the girls about the Ascender, which is able to carry one up at a time to the ground. Alexa is the first one to try and ascend. There are two sharks emerging from below again. Nicole panics and grabs to the rope from Alexa. As the rope can only take one person, it becomes loose. Alexa has to step back and Nicole eventually reaches the top. She accidentally slips and falls back down into the water before turning to the shared meal of the two craving sharks. Alexa crazily calls out for help, but Grant reassures the girls that the sharks are gone due to the sounds of the alarm, which scared them away. Grant explains that as the ascender is broken, the only way out now is to swim back down even deeper in order to find another exit. This cave goes out to the sea, which will let them come out into the ocean. But before he can do so, a shark surfaces and kills him right away, leaving Mia and Sasha devastated. The trio decides to follow what Grant taught and dive in again. The shark approaches, but before it can make any move, a huge current sends Sasha away. Her fate is uncertain. Alexa then has to pull devastated Mia together and decides that they need to keep going. The two begin to stick to the side to the other entrance. When Mia almost falls off to the current, Alexa makes it to grab her back in the safe way. On the way out, a shark storms out and catches Alexa on her back, and Mia is pulled to the current. Alexa escapes the shark by taking off her air tank, but eventually, while struggling in the water, she drowns. Elsewhere, Mia is sent away by the current, but Sasha, who is still alive, reaches out and takes her hand to a lower current zone. Impossible. The two decide to swim away from the strong current, only to find another quiet cave before being the next targets of the aggressive shark behind. 
As the tank runs to zero air, the sisters decide to take them off and hold their breath to the surface. They made it again. They see a tour boat on the surface and begin swimming towards it until they realize it is chumming the water to attract sharks. Mia and Sasha draw the attention of the tourists as they are attacked by sharks. Sasha is grabbed by a shark while Mia makes it onto the boat. Just then, Sasha is released after Mia jumps into the water and shoots a shark with a flare gun. Sasha arrives at the boat, but Mia is again dragged down by another shark. She escapes by piercing the shark's eyes with the tooth Grant gave her. Mia swims towards the boat and she meets Sasha again while the boat crew take care of her wounds. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.